Okay, friends, at first glance, this stand looks absolutely ridiculous with my little bitty Roland A49 on here. But let me tell you what I'm up to. So, for years, I've been using these rickety stands, like this thing here. I mean, you just, you play on, and it, they just, your keyboard's right. It doesn't matter whether you're on level ground or not. And I hate the fact that these crossbar things hit you in the shin and the feet or knees and stuff sometimes. Uh, these things are just, I don't know, they're okay. But you can see it's just, it's just not as, even if it were on level ground, it's not the most stable thing. I wanted something really stout to play some get down keyboard on. And I want to be able to adjust the height where I could just sit on my couch and relax and come up with keyboard ideas. So this looks like way more stand than needs to be here. And it truly is. This is it, the Stellar Labs. And there's the model on it, model number 556-1380. And I'm here to tell you folks, I'm a big guy and I've like, I could do handstands on this thing. It's incredibly rock solid. And as you can see there, there's no uh, way that's gonna get in the, in the way of your feet at all. So what am I up to here? Well, I would like to be able to put my Mac on the back of this, my iMac with Logic Pro uh, all set up on it and even put my Focusrite Scarlet uh, on there, which I got one of the Scarlet uh, 2i4s is what I got, didn't I? Yeah, 2i4. And I, I've loved my old Scarlet. This is the second generation. This one does have the MIDI and everything on it. So I'm gonna be able to hook up my electric guitars, my bass, uh, do some keyboard controlling and stuff and totally control my logic off in this tiny little keyboard, which by the way is awesome. I'll do a review on this keyboard. So I want to be able to put some kind of platform back here to put my Mac on. And I was thinking, okay, let's go buy some board or something. I don't want something that's going to sag in the middle, though. I want something strong. And I'll tell you what I had in mind. I was thinking about, like, if I could find a shelf sort of like these plastic shelves that you buy for these things. And you look up underneath there, and there's structure up under there that kind of keeps those shelves, that kind of shelf very level, and it doesn't, like, cave in. And so I was trying to think of well, what could I use for this? And I'm just walking by Walmart and I happen to see this. And so this is actually a fold in half 34 inch table. And you know, I can always use a table. I can fold that thing out and actually make a table out of it if I need to. But as it is uh, folded up like this, it is super strong. And uh, I uh, have already set it on that stand. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This thing is very stout and will hold my iMac, my iMac with the 5K retina screen, which I love for composing because I can see everything on the screen. And so when all is connected, it looks like this, and which is pretty awesome actually. I've been sitting here jamming actually, just took a couple of guitar tracks that I recorded myself and played some keyboards and stuff there and made this little G minor, C minor type chord progression thing. I might play a little bit just so you see how it sounds. Anyway, just goofing around a little bit. But here we go. Here's kind of how it all configures. It's kind of neat um, because the little MIDI inputs are recessed back in a hole in here inside the little A9, uh, A49. They don't, the, the cables don't butt up against this. You kind of can go underneath there and come back up and go back through the hole in the Mac. Kind of helps with your cord clutter. I left my Magic or my Apple mouse at work. So I have these little stupid ThinkPad mouse, but there you go. Pretty sweet setup here for just lounging around on a couch and playing some keyboard. And I'm telling you folks, that is rock solid. And I love the table. Uh, the table used, uh, folded up twice, is super stale. I have sat there and played for, I don't know, 45 minutes. And it is absolutely rock solid environment for recording some some music if you want to sit on your couch. You know, a lot of times I'll sit on a chair like this. I've got a mess up here, folks. All these hard drives, but and I'll put my Mac on this table and I'll put the keyboard up here and I'll sit in this kind of a big high wooden chair and it's just so uncomfortable. And you'll sit for an hour, hour and a half trying to compose something. It takes it out of you. I just like the thought of just lounging around on a little old uh, sofa and taking my time and chilling, and listening to the music over and over again, and picking up another, another instrument, and playing. Uh, I can hook the guitar straight into the focus right and use the software amps and stuff that are on there. Uh, or I can just play, have I had the A49 uh, going out via USB 2, the response is just great. I'm monitoring everything through that focus right, zero latency, zero latency. I mean, folks, it is awesome, awesome to be able to uh, record this way. So there you go, that's my little setup. That stand, I think, was only 
I think it's 49 bucks or $59. It's not expensive at all. Uh, and I gotta highly recommend the stand, man. And then the, uh, the table, I think, was, I think it was $28, the folding table that I used back here. The A49 is about $179 keyboard, which you can get for, the, you know, $169 sometimes when it's on sale. Then I have the top of the line iMac, at least for 2016 in September. I've got it spec'd out too, so the iMac is really the brain and the thing that makes it all work. I could have a little laptop there, but I just totally enjoy that. Plus, I'm a graphic designer. I like having a big old screen. It is great being able to see all your stuff and make just I'll edit virtually anything you want to edit there. So, anyway, there's my setup. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.